Sometimes I get asked, um, what does driving mean to me personally? I like to be in control of a car. I like to uh, be communicating with the car, feel the car's reaction, be completely immersed in the driving. My whole senses, the sensory experience, very important for me, um, are melting with the car. Character is very important. I like cars with character. That doesn't mean the car has to be perfect in every way, because if a car is too perfect, it uh, tends to be boring. I think the GT3 is the rock star um, of the 911s. Rock stars are not the most well-behaved people. Maybe the GT3 is not a well-behaved car as well, but well-behaved people rarely make history. So what do I look for when I'm driving a car? Um, when is a car interesting? For me, it's, it's all about connectivity. It's about information I get through the steering wheel, through the seat rails, through the noises the car makes. And it's emotion. It has to evoke positive emotions. It has to make me smile. It has to, um, it has to tell me, okay, drive a little bit more. So uh, don't take the direct route. The GT3 actually exists, if you look at it historically, um, because in 1999 we needed a, um, a special model for homologating parts that we had to use in a race car. We had to uh, um, homologate for street use and that was the GT3. As a 911 that's there for the enthusiast, for the one that likes to drive just for the sake of driving. So when do I know when the car is finished? <laughs> um, always when you change from one platform to another platform, like we do now from the 991 uh, to the 992. Um, yeah, we, you almost start from scratch. Yes, we have to find a way to make the car feel like a GT3. We use technology for that, but technology and calculations of computers um, is not enough, so you have to try and test it and find the right mix of performance and emotion and communication. When I'm reaching the state that I'm driving the car on my favorite roads where I normally test the cars and I forget to focus on the things I wanted to focus on, uh, just enjoying the driving, get positively intoxicated by, the, by just piloting the car. And, um, and if the phone rings, I don't uh, answer the phone because um, I'm just too immersed in the driving. Then I know the car is ready for the customer. But that's the challenge here at Porsche Motorsport, um, to make every new variant of the GT3 a rightfully successor to its predecessor. Make it even better, make it more emotional, make it more performant. And I think this car really has its rightful uh, place in the line of ancestries uh, of the GT cars. And uh, yeah, job done.